Time to practice your most effective game day rituals. It's all on the line for the Vancouver Canucks and their fans. The team is in a must win situation, of course, as it hosts Calgary. It is game five this evening. Andrea McPherson joins us now live with more on that. Andrea. Good morning, Jody. We're outside Rogers Arena. It's uh, dead right now, but that's going to be a very different situation later on this evening as Canucks fans converge down here. Of course, we know uh, the Flames are leading the series 3-1, and uh, they do have the chance uh, to uh, overcome, uh, pu pu pull it off uh, with a best of seven set uh, with a win tonight. However, uh, 21 years ago, Canucks overcame a 3-1 series deficit to the Flames. So fingers crossed here. Vancouver fans hoping for a sequel with their team in the same playoff predicament. Today is the first of three chances for Calgary to advance past the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time since 2004. That's when the Flames lost Game 7 of the Stanley Cup final to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Here's what people and players have been saying to us this morning. Obviously, we want them to do well, uh, and we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm only I'm probably going to watch them in the second or third round if, if, if they get through tonight. I think they'll pull through. I mean, it's Vancouver. We've we've hit the, the Stanley Cup so many times, and now that we're here again, we'll pull through. There's a lot of series that you can look at. I mean, there's there was one year where we came back uh, against St. Louis, being down three-one. Uh, the next round we lost to Minnesota, being up three-one. So. Uh, Again, we were up to up against Detroit 2-0 going, going home and they came back and won four straight. So um, it's, uh, we're going to focus on tomorrow. We're going to win that game and uh, hopefully put some pressure on them in their, in their building. A Vancouver coach Willie Desjardins has used Eddie Lack in net for the past four previous games. However, Sportsnet is reporting that uh, Ryan Miller will get the start tonight. The other issue, Alex Burrows. He has been ruled out for the remainder of the series. That's all due to an apparent rib injury. Jody. All right, thanks so much, Andrew McPherson, reporting for us live from Rogers Arena this morning. It was a rush hour commuters. Uh, it was a rush hour commuters on Highway 99 that, or 91, excuse me, I'm all distracted by game five. On Highway 91 yesterday at 6.15, it was quite the rush hour for commuters as they witnessed a plane crash that somehow caused very little damage. Look at this, the ultralight aircraft went down around 6.15 yesterday evening, crashed in the highway's southbound lanes between 64th and 72nd avenues. No vehicles were hit, thankfully. The 49-year-old pilot was taken to hospital in stable condition with only minor injuries, if you can believe it. The plane had taken off from King George Air Park in Surrey and lost power due to engine problems. Traffic was reopened two and a half hours later. How do you regulate something that is technically illegal? That's what the city of Vancouver is planning to do as it tackles the issue of medical pot stores. While the city doesn't have jurisdiction over marijuana, it does regulate businesses. So it's imposing several conditions and a hefty $30,000 licensing fee on marijuana dispensaries. They've been popping up around the city with 80 now in operation. Stores will not be allowed to open up near schools or around community centers. The fee is on the high side for our business licenses, for sure. Um, and it's, you know, definitely if you look across other jurisdictions, there are, there are higher fees for these kinds of outlets. Um, we're in the very early stages of this. We have a huge amount of work to do, and we are, we are going to need to ramp up our resources in order to handle this implementation of this regulatory framework. Store operators will have to sign good neighbor agreements and pay around $5,000 annually to renew their licenses. They won't be allowed to sell cookies, brownies or other pot edibles. The plan will go before City Council next week. It was a major emergency, but it seems we'll never know exactly what caused last month's fire at Vancouver's port. Fire investigators have ruled the March 4th blaze accidental and the cause undetermined. It started in a shipping container, but the damage was so bad there was no way to tell how it started. The container was carrying a bleaching agent used for disinfecting. The fire led to a waterfront shutdown and a shelter-in-place order in the area. Aside from hospital visits for smoke inhalation, no one was injured. Meanwhile, this is what is left of a restaurant in Chinatown. It took several hours for Tuesday's blaze to be suppressed and extinguished. The building was then demolished. The owner of the Daisy Garden is reportedly vowing to rebuild. The fire was accidentally started by members of a roofing crew. They made the mistake of trying to fight it themselves instead of calling 911 immediately. 
we need to be activated uh, right away. 911 is the number to call. Get resources coming and we can deal with it much quicker.